Hey guys, Luigi Taco here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode with Nighttime Gamer, we took down Agatha and Lance. And in this episode, we are going to be taking on the fifth member of the Elite Four. Oh my god! It's Butt! My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on my Pokédex, I looked all over for Pokémon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would beat any Pokémon type. And now, I'm the Pokémon League Champion! Pangas, do you know what that means? I'll tell you. I'm the most powerful trainer in the world. We'll see about that. This is the final battle. This is your rival. Now, his Pokemon are going to be very strong and... Ooh, I started out with the wrong Pokemon. Yeah, I can make this work. As long as this hits. So all of his Pokemon are above level 57, his highest being a starter, which is level 63 now. So he's pretty difficult, but not unbeatable. Now real quick, I'm going to switch out to Electro just so I can insta-kill this guy. As you saw right there, I fully healed all my party members, courtesy of the revives and four restores. Alright, one down, five to go. The second champ- er, champion. Jeez, I've been playing League of Legends too much. His second Pokémon is Rhydon. Which is a rock and ground Pokémon, so naturally I'm going to use Skullcrack him. I would, I would use Venusaur, but I don't know if Razor Leaf is strong enough, even though it is a four times weakness. So let's just get rid of this guy in one shot, as we usually do. Come on, show me the zero. There we go. Okay. Four more. Now, his third Pokemon is an Alakazam. Although I do not have a Psychic type, Alakazams do not have very high defense, so I'm going to send out Lard for the first time in this Elite Four run. And I have a feeling that strength is going to deal a good amount of damage. Oh, and there goes Reflect to fix that defense problem. Okay, it didn't do too much, but it should work. As Alakazam can get annoying, because as you can see, Psychic does a whole lot of damage. But it's okay. Snorlax, or Lard, is very, very bulky. And like the other Elite Four members, he does use the full restore quite a bit. But no matter. I can still just keep taking him down. Okay, so we're just gonna keep taking psychic attacks and using strength on this mofo. Come on, give me a critical. Alright, one more shot should do it. And if it doesn't, I'm going to be very annoyed. So long as this doesn't crit. Oh, very close. Okay, and there goes Alakazam. Thank you, Lard. Next Pokemon, Exeggutor. Now, if you have a Bug-type Pokemon for this, and I don't think many people would, because the only ones are like Beedrill and Butterfree. Anyway. If you have a Bug-type Pokémon, you can use it against Exeggutor because it's four times weakness, but I don't have a Bug-type Pokémon, so overheat! Doosh. Come on, one shot. Give me the one shot. Oh, you're kidding me! Oh, boy. Go ahead, use your full restore. There you go. Don't be shy. Ugh! <sighs> You can see why I hate this battle. Now that my special attack is so much lower, this isn't going to do anything. Oh. Ooh. That's pretty neat. I'll take it. Alright. I really hope he doesn't use another full restore. Because the burn damage is going to get him in the red, red zone once again. 
you gonna be a jerk? Yes, you are. Mother of Christ. I don't know if there's a limit to the full restore amount that they can use. If there is, I will put it on the screen right now, but as far as I know, there's not. So we're gonna keep pecking away at this stubborn thing. Uh. Okay, thank God his attacks keep missing. Okay, one more flamethrower and he should go down. Am I right? Indeed I am. Goodbye, Xegutor. Ooh, let's level up. And once again, I shall bring out Electro. Because we've already seen a Gyarados in this run. Is Gyarados, if you chose... I believe if you chose... Bolt, or if you chose uh, Squirtle as your starter Pokemon, he will choose Bulbasaur, and this Gyarados will be replaced by an Arcanine, which is very, very powerful. But still very, very easy to kill, as you can see. So his last Pokemon is his starter, which is going to be level 63. In my case, Charizard. Now, hopefully, I can one-shot it, but I'm not expecting much. <laughs> Decent amount of damage. And one annoying perk about the starter Pokemon that they have is that they will, uh, no matter what they have, they will have the most powerful type attack. Wow, that's a mouthful. Basically, if they have Charizard, they'll have Fire Blast. If they have Blastoise, they'll have Hydro Pump. And if they have Venusaur, they will have Solar Beam. So it can be pretty annoying. As you can see, they just one-shot at Electro. And he has a Citrus Berry. But whatever. This battle is just about over, so long as Ancient Power hits. And it did. And come on. Yes! This really isn't that hard a fight, so long as you have the right types to take down his Pokemon. Like, I probably could have taken down his Pokemon if mine were around level 47, even though his are so high leveled. But whatever. We won! Why? Why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Darn it! You're the new League Pokemon Champion! Although I don't like to admit it. Dingus! Professor Oak, what are you doing here? So you've won. Sincerely, congratulations. You're the new Pokemon League Champion. You've grown up so much since you first left with Bulbasaur to work on the Pokedex. Pingus, you have come of age. But I'm disappointed in you. I came when I heard you'd beaten the Elite Four, but when I got here, you had already lost. But do you understand why you lost? You have forgotten to treat your Pokemon with love and trust. Yeah, because all you do is try to beat me, even though you never do. <sighs> but anyway, I'm going to the Hall of Fame, you're not. But, my name is Pingus for a reason. So here is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. After you beat the Elite Four and the Pokemon Champion, your Pokemon become Hall of Famers. So beautiful. Skull Kraken, Electro, Taro, Leaf Green, Lard, and Kitsun. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. And with that, I complete my run of Pokemon Leaf Green in 35 hours. Yes, that takes into account all the grinding I did. Anyway, I'm the league champion, and now, the credits. Shh. Even though Gary Oak is the grandson of Oak, we all know that Professor Oak loves me more.
So anyway, this is a pretty cool rendition of the title song. It's not too much different, but... Anyway, the credits scene, as you can see, is just... Me walking throughout the lands of Kanto. Looking at the Chinese names... Or not China... Uh, wow. The Japanese names... Because the Japanese made this, you don't see Chinese last names that are like... Nakamura, or... Iwasawa... Or Tamada, Watanabe... Eh... But anyway, this game has been very fun. But as you can see by the title, it does not say finale, so we are still going. Yes, in fact, as I mentioned in, like, a part that was recorded around a year ago... Charizard, by the way. In a part that I recorded like a year ago, I think we were on Cinnabar Island, I said that I was not going to do the first three islands of the Sevi Islands because I wanted to do them all together. So, after... I actually need to do something really quick, and then I shall record those parts. And we will be able to travel through the Sevi Islands together as friends. Ooh, that's a mouthful. Matsushima. Fujiwara. I love looking at these names just because I can never pronounce them correctly. I swear, if I went to Japan, I'd probably either get my ass kicked or get laughed at and thrown off the bridge. Venusaur! Oh god, there's a Lavender Tower. I always hated that place just because, like, things are dead in there, but... Nonetheless, Uesugi... Tommy Naga. Hey, it says Tommy. That's my name, Tommy. Kondo Takanao. <laughs> Japan Braille Library. We'll get to that later. Because there actually is Braille used in the game. And where might it be? Up oh, the Sevi Islands. <laughs> Retsuji. I love that name. Gakuji. Hiroyuki Takehiro. Blastoise! Satoshi Tajiri. Aw, uh, look at our arrival, Mr. Butt. He's just sitting there, he's like, Man, I wish I could take on that Pokemon League Master. I wish my Pokemans were really strong. Well, they're not. Hey, an American name! Seth McMahill. Teresa Lilligren, Knob. <laughs> Akira Kinashi. But yeah, occasionally you see American names in here. I swear those programmers must have been so confused. Kind of like a bicultural thing. Yeah, Thomas, Kathy, and Mika. European Blind Union. Pikachu! Margaret Campion. New Zealand? New Zealand. Okay, okay, don't don't judge my accent, I'm sorry. I've done some weird ones thus so far, but that took the shit cake. And with that we arrive back in Pallet Town. The end. For now. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, do I have to press something? Um, oh, I do. Okay. Huh. So as you can see, it takes us back to the title screen. So, next time on Pokemon Leaf Green, we will go to the after story. I will see you guys then. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this video, and you will see many more. Catch you guys later.